up guys, this is Miniman2312 and I'm back in Kerbal Space Program with another video. Um, today I have created a replica of the Blue Origin uh, Space Suborbital Tourism for where the f um fuck did it go? Um, yeah, so it's the Blue Origin, meant to be the Blue Origin uh, spacecraft launched by, I think it was the creator of, well, it was funded by the creator of Amazon, as far as I know. I'll have to do some uh, extra research on that, I guess. Um, here we go, alright. So here's our full rocket. Um, it was quite revolutionary because this bottom rocket half here um, actually landed and is able to be reused, which is the a uh, first in most in all of rocketry. So all the entire most of the entirety of this is reusable unless I manage to crash it. So the parts that we have here. So you start with a a PP D12 cupola module, and I have offset this extra large parachute inside it. You have a large RCS tank, even though it doesn't get that much use, and around it I have a KW Rocketry SAS, which you can readily mount. Also, there's some RCS thrusters and these Eulage motors, which um, separate this whole crew section and give it a bit more uh, height. And then we have a decoupler and our remote guidance unit. And I'm using um, remote tech, so I need to have this reflectron on it. I also have eulage motors on this one to get it to make, help it lose speed a bit quicker. Uh, mech jab are on both uh, sections to keep it upright. I have uh, some drogue shoots, which I shouldn't need, even though because um, I use them if I crash it accidentally. Um, but the real Blue Origin. Uh, rocket doesn't have any shoots on the lander stage. I have some air brakes just to keep it up stable, which also wasn't used on the actual rocket, so it's a bit not much of a rec replica, but whatever. Um, uh, I have some more rocket tanks, KW rocketry tanks. I'm using these B9 um, control services procedural wings. Um, some KW battery banks because they look better than the stock ones and these LT pod landing assemblies, which I think might also be from uh, KW Rocketry. Using a lot of parts of KW Rocketry in this... Um, I don't know, maybe. Doesn't really help me. Uh, maybe if I go here. Do uh, do. Whatever. Alright, whatever. Um, yeah, so these are enlarged to 200%. Think anything else is enlarged except for maybe this. This is a 75% smaller, actually. Um, no, I, I think everything else is a normal size. And then this is all launched by a normal size skipper. Um, over here is my staging. You can see I've got the two rocket, the rocket and the stabilizer stick up to couple. Then we have the separation, the drogue shoots, and then the main parachute. Okay, now we'll launch this. Um, so, the idea is just to launch straight up, basically, no gravity turn or anything. Uh, then once you reach about an apoapsis of maybe 40 kilometers, you're going to want to detach and then land this part first and then quickly switch back to the uh, crew. So we've got Lemke Kerman along for the ride. He's gonna have. <laughs> he's not even paying his tourist fees, but whatever. <laughs> Alright, so you do have a bit of a slow start off here, but uh, you'll get a bit. It gets faster eventually, trust me. <laughs> Alright, just organizing my panels here. Still going slow. We'll get there eventually, guys, don't worry. Uh. Turn, no, no, don't want those up. And then, so we've got the gears on the gear hotkey, of course. Brakes are on, air brakes are on that hotkey. Um, yeah. 
just move this over because it keeps the same moving. Still organising all my stuff. And yeah, so just have to wait for this to get a bit more speed. Getting there, so we have about a total, I think, starting off as like 2,700 meters per second of delta V. And we'll just see how it goes. We can do a Oh crap, we need to close our fuel. Uh, control from here. I might have, may have stopped broken this. Alright, there we go, it's detached. We have 51 mi minutes of delta V left. F 8 meters per second, sorry. Of delta V left. Let's orientate ourselves upwards, turn on the brakes. And we should be good so far. Air brakes. Air brakes. Meant to be facing up. Oh crap. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? Uh oh. Face up, you duffer. Crap. He went down bravely. Alright, quickly we'll switch to the. Can I not switch? Where is Lemke? Lemke, where art thou? Is Lemke dead? I've already lost another guy on this. I want to lose my man Lemke as well. Ah, oh, crap. Lemke! Lemke! Is he over there? What about there? Is that him? No, that's a different thing. Where's Lemke? Or is it the Mookie? Crap. That's all good. Um, we'll just, uh, revert. Maybe. Yeah, that's a good idea. Alright. Take two. We're going up. Here we go. Gears back in, you put your gears back out, you put your gears back in, and you shake them all about. You do the gear landing dance, you turn around. That's all, oh God, I forgot. Alright, ready? So, this is the uh, Lemke uh, Kerman ejection, and we're gonna switch back to the. uh. thing. You know what? Alright, uh. setting everything up. Please don't tip over again, are you serious? Are you serious right now, mate? Lemke, I hope you're doing well up there. Sorry, Lemuki. That's what I meant. Trust me. Alright, we have 16 seconds till Apple Apps. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, and there we go. Now we're back down, boys. Coming down. Coming in for the landing. I'm just gonna.
steal our horizontal velocity if I can. Which is not going to happen because we're because I'm doing it incorrectly. Hopefully we don't get that sick spin again. Lemuki's still rising. Either that or falling too fast. I'd go with falling too fast. Hopefully we can actually connect back before we fall down. I better not be going into the water. I will be really mad, because then I don't get to land this. The spins. Coming with the spin again. Stop spinning it. Stop. Stop. Alright. Come on. Alright, so our suicide burn says 700 meters per second at 6 kilometers. Uh. Sure. I'm trying to work out why all of a sudden my prograde vector says I'm going up. I struggle to understand that. I'm gonna start this burn so I can not die. Where's Lemke? Oh, he's falling pretty damn fast as well. Let's cut this. We'll just see how we go here. It still says 300 meters per second at 2 kilometers. There we go. Okay, now I see what it meant. Let me keep Kerman better not die. Where is he? Did he get... Did he just evaporate? Uh... Uh... That wasn't meant to happen. I should probably put some heat shields on there, hey? But right now I've got my own stuff to worry about. Hey, we're landing right next to the common river. And down. Woo! We got it. Um. <laughs> however, the Mookie Kerman seems to have evapor evaporated halfway down. Um. So when you guys make this, uh, I advise you probably put a heat shield on there. Just maybe, unless you don't want your Kerbal to survive, of course. Which is always, uh, uh you know, helpful have them survive generally all right so i think that's the end of this video uh, if you liked this don't forget to leave a like comment if you want to know anything about this craft or anything else if i missed a part or anything give me some feedback on it um and don't forget to subscribe so thanks for watching goodbye